you like to show us your list? Show us what you played? Yeah, so I'm playing Virtual Orb. And... So there's three Lulus. Three GGs. Why three Lulu? <laughs> three Lolo. And three Lily. That's for the ones that special on those books. You play as many as possible, just so you see more. Okay. I play two Nyan Nyan. You can play one Nyan because you cut his eyes. Yeah. But always having a Nyan in rotation is really good. Like, always having one in deck and one banished. Okay. And then, that's it for the monsters. I play Snow, which enables the level 10 synchros. Really spicy. And then for hand traps, I'm playing three Ghost Ogre. It hits all the best decks. It hits Sword Soul, it hits Adventure, it hits the Mirror Match. Um, now I play three Ash, which is just the most generic. These are also super good because this is a Psychic, so it's another e tele target. Say you open full Virtual combo, but you've got e tele in your hand. Okay. You just set the e tele and then summon the Ghost Dog for another interruption. Yeah. And they're also level 3s for Nyan Nyan. The most important thing. Yeah. And then I'm playing 3... That's it for hand traps. Don't you want to go into the deep theory and complexities of 3 Imper? Well, Imper is actually a bit better in this deck because you want cards to set because of Top Zolka. Oh, that's true, yeah. So, that's like, so this is why this card's just really good. It's better than Vela, like other like, monster hand traps. Because there's a lot of times when you've got like full combo, but you don't have a card to set. Okay. Now for the virtual sort of traps, you run three C, and then three King Pops. Just standard. You want to see? You want to see this every open hand? It's like the best card in the deck. Yeah. It starts every. Now the other spells I run three telly. Um this card's just insane. It's got like nine targets in the deck if you want three ghost ogre. Best card of a format. Yeah, literally it's insane. It's so good. And then I run three dark rulers. These would be droplets if I had droplets. But dark ruler's still good. You just dark ruler them and you got status charge warrior and just hit everything. Okay. But dark ruler's still not bad. And again, it's a card you can set where you can't really set droplets. Yeah. But you can, but you can't use it that turn. And then we'll know one called like the Scythe. The one sacky card. Yeah. And then for the gates, the two choo chair comes down. Okay. Some people run three of this, but like, it's completely not necessary. Especially when you're not going to like it. Yeah. And Zanwu is like one of the best cards, especially with e telling because you can you've only got e telling hand. Zanwu, Banish, the chain link one, and then e Tele chain link two. Okay. Summon then Yan Yan. And then Zanwu resolves, and you don't have to discard because you've got no cards in hand. Oh, that's fair. So overall, all really standard for with Fairytale Snow. Yeah. And Snow's super good in the deck. Like, I think Snow getting unbanned was a much bigger like buff to the deck than e Tele. Okay. Hot take. Do you want the uh, extra first, yeah. please? Okay. So for the exceeds, I run three rank sixes, Fan Fan, and seven, and Beatrice. Uh, Fan Fan's like your best going second virtual card. Like, it breaks boards and then you can just go Zeus. Okay. Uh, M7's good for like, you, you usually make it turn one, just so you have plays for the next turn if you didn't know for GG. And Beatrice is sick because you just send the snow or there's a lot of side deck cards you can just dump with Beatrice. Like token collectors, you can dump the Necro Will Banshee stuff. But you dump the side for the combo too. And then for the Mega Rex, it's a Trump package, Gaia Charger. I don't run any rank 3s, I don't think any of the rank 3s are very good. Even Gossip Shadow? No, I don't think it's in the. Gossip Shadow is only good for Nibiru, but nobody's playing that because of the, uh, the adventure stuff. 
Like if I was going to run a rank 3, it would either be Break Sword, just to unclog your bricky hands, so you can pop the king on. Or I would play Jar Jar. Jar Jar's just good against BP. And I, oh. I don't run um, Utopic Future anymore. That was a rank 6 that a lot of people played. But that card was only really good in Dragoon as a good card. Because it was just a, a super free Dragoon out. Yeah. You don't, you don't see Dragoon anymore, so... And then for my level um, level 6 symbols, I have Status Charge Warrior. You make this like every game. It's insane. Because the deck just naturally just does minus and everything. And then Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon is good for going second instead of Status Charge because you can discard a card, pop a card, and then you Synchro it into Zolkin to draw a card. And then Juju. Juju is really good as well. Um, I feel like this card's overlooked so much, but a lot of decks just can not out this. So the protection effect. So if you brick hard, it gets a lot of decks like Flunder. Unless they've got access to Riser, you just say like summon in defense position, and they can't really, they don't really have an answer to it. That's pretty nice. It does seem good in the grand game from what I've seen. Yeah, it also just instantly makes your Chucha alive. It's also really good with Dark Ruler, because if they have DP on board, you um, you Dark Ruler them, and you Juju, and Juju sends, doesn't destroy. That answers the DP. Oh, nice. And for the two level 9s, uh, Shen Shen is obviously why the deck is good, to be honest. Like, Macro on legs with 28 body, that comes back every turn, is super good. Yeah. And uh, the million is really good for going second to close out games. It's also nice for, um, in the grind game, you can pop itself to add um, a Lalo or a Lulu from your banish zone. I think a lot of, I think if I was to cut something, it would be this, but... I don't know, the, the card just comes in really clutch sometimes. There's so many situations where it's really strong. Yeah, it does seem necessary. Yeah, especially like, there's not that many good rank 10s, uh, level 10, sorry. Don't you mean level 9s? Yeah, 9, 9, sorry. But here's a level 10. So <laughs> he's like, you make up a snow. Uh, so, snow plus um, Lalao is a level 10. Or you can uh, Chuche on your summon back Nyan Nyan or your Lulu to make either of these. And I mean, everyone knows what these do. These cards are some of the best cards in the game. Oh, yeah. Like Cheng Yingo in second, like. So many of your cards already banished, so you can proc Chen Ying whenever. And even if you make Chen Ying going first, Chen Chen banishes everything anyways. So you'll always be able to proc this multiple times. And yeah. Put on, put on, right? Which is an omni Like, if you open Snow and like a virtual combo, you can just normal summon the Snow, and Snow becomes so much. Like, it's an omni negate with a book, a quick effect book on that turn. And then, this is my fluke check, um, Final Sigma. You don't have to run this, but I really don't like flu. I don't like flu at all. I don't like getting the flu either. I'd hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was yeah. awful. Continue. <laughs> but this card's pretty good. Even like, a lot of rogue decks also just can't out this. Like, if you summon this, plus Shen Shen, and you've got a Choo Choo out for it, not many decks can get over this, especially rogue decks. This card's good. I don't summon it often, to be honest. It's basically game one. Like, you yeah. feel so bad putting so many resources just for them to access good and be over. And that would be a true, a true final Sigma. Yeah. And for the last two extra cards, you just get the Crystal Wind. My favorite okay. part of the deck. I think it's so cool that the deck can make all good. And I don't play Kaliga and Muddy Mud Dragon. I cut both of them for the level 10 symbols. They don't seem necessary anymore. No, it's very win more. Like, if you open a hand that can hit them, I think the ha you have to open really well to be able to do the Kaliga one with Crystal. Yeah. So at a regional, it was last format, but to be fair, Virtual is pretty much very similar to what it was last format. I yeah. saw a guy make a board of Crystal Wind, Dragoon, and Chuche against 60 card Eldritch Zombie, and his board literally just got ripped apart really easily, so I don't think Muddy Mud Dragon's as good 
as people make it out to be nowadays. Yeah, you can play Dragoon as well, instead of the Kaliga, but the Dragoon doesn't have the pop effects, which is like what made Dragoon really good. Yeah. You can just close out games super easy with just two pops and attack. But without the pop effect, it's just, it's just the towers, and 3k isn't too hard to go over. Yeah. Would you like to show us your side deck? The side deck's kind of janky at the moment. People I'm love really jank, though. Three gamma, like, a lot of people cut this, which is completely valid, like, driver sucks. Like, the deck's already breaking enough, and having her in a vanilla just doesn't feel good. But the, the, it's also nice because you can summon these off at E-Tele and hard make a crystal one. Yeah. You've got your status charge warrior. And even if you gamma and you you've got a, a level 6 body which just goes into the theme of the deck. And you can sync for the UPN It makes Zulking with him in really awkward scenarios. Yeah. And then they're in 3 crow. I really like crow this one. I somehow just go against Eldritch every single event. Multiple Eldritch every single event. And Crow's just really good in that matchup. And he's also good against Lighter. It's also not bad against Sword so You banish the um, shooters. And two public cycle for Scythe. And Eldritch again. Uh, these for Ultra Dice and Eldritch. And then the Scythe. I don't like main deck in the Scythe. Because there's been too many times I've scythed game one and it turns out they're playing Eldritch or Flanderies. Okay. So, I think that's that's only 12 cards. Um, the last three cards would be token collectors, but I don't have any. I usually land them from the rest. Alright, did you play that Derby? I... Oh yeah, I'm trying to remember if you token collected me or not. No, I, I, I had Beatrice and. You negated the Beatrix. Oh yeah, yeah I did, yeah, I remember. Spoilers, he played against me round one and he battered me. Speaking of which, let's go into a tournament report. Um, so round one, he was against Ashen, playing Sword Soul. Um, game one, I got him the way to make Shen Shen, then I had three hand traps, and he just couldn't play the game. And then, game two, I think we both bricked, but I unbricked quicker than you. I remember.